Good day, everybody. This is B.A. Woody and Don, and we are back with another banner trailer reaction. This time it's the Valentine's banner. We already know the units that are on the banner because Bay Channel, am I right? But there are some interesting little tidbits that I wanted to cover, and I already saw who was on it, and I know the skills, and I know every, pretty much everything about it. So this will be uh, quite interesting. Let's dig in. I'm on my tablet because my laptop won't let me upload and stream. He's a armored blue tome. First off, attack speed far save. Mint. Love it. Uh, savvy fighter, awesome. Swift stance is whatever. That's fine, I guess. The weapon is very, very interesting, though. So it's slang, spectrum plus five. A decent size attack speed debuff. Uh, max 6, so that's about attack speed minus 10 on the foe. And also, the following effects will occur based on the value of unit speed minus foe's speed. If greater than or equal to negative 4, reduces damage for foe's first attack during combat by 30%. So that's basically a... Not technically 60% damage reduction, but we're going to say it's that just to keep math kind of easier. Even though that's not actually how it works, but... It's a lot of damage reduction on the first hit, basically. If greater than or equal to zero, when unit deals damage to foe during combat, restores seven HP. And if greater than or equal to four, foe's attack can trigger foe's special, and unit has weapon child advantage. The Duma slash Tiki effect, the pulsar, which is pretty cool. The only issue is, it's only workable if you're red, like if the enemy's red. If the enemy's anything else, um. Yeah, no, that's not really fantastic. It's neat. But if your enemy is anything but red, you don't get that effect. So it doesn't really matter too much anyway. Basically, this says, screw you, Veronica, and nothing else. That's what this is doing. So this is very funny to me. Basically, screw you, Veronica, screw you, Krom. They're the only ones that are actually a problem when it comes to range units right now that are red. So that's kind of funny. What is that horn? Does anyone know the name of that horn? That whoa. Like, do y'all hear that? I don't want to say it's like a flugel horn, but it's, it's something that's familiar to me. I know that tone. It sounds like maybe like a bass clarinet. I don't know. Oh, green bow cab. This is actually what I needed. And he's actually kind of good. Let's make a delivery. So he's got a remote mirror. I guess this is going to be a new line of skills before his remote sparrow. Now it's a remote mirror. I guess they're showing love to some. And like the, the, um, showing love to tomes in some way, shape, or form. So that's nice, I guess. Or not even tomes. Ranged. That's what I meant. Sorry. Uh, basically, mirror impact stats. But... It's remote, so reduce the damage from foe's first attack by 30%. Sweet. The Dusk Bloom Bow. Slang. Bow stuff. A start of player phase, or enemy phase. If any foes in carnal directions and unit have res, less than units res, inflicts defense res minus 7 and gravity. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants spectrum plus 5 to unit during combat. And the following effects will occur based on the value of units res minus foes res. We have another res check. I keep telling you guys we're in a res meta. You guys gotta start believing me, okay? We are in a res meta. Lots of res checks. The Duma. The Tiki's. Like, the newer Tiki's. Frickin' the new Mythic. Sather. And now Dusk Bloom Bow 2. Like, there's a lot of res checks, guys. There is. So, unit you know, makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Ooh, sorry. Unit deals damage equals 20% of units res during combat, and if greater than or equal to 7, unit initiates combat, offensive not follow up, half, and 30% damage reduction on the first hit. So this is basically talk me, but on a bow, because remote mirror is swapping, is in the place of savvy fighter, both giving 30% damage reduction on the first hit, and the weapon does the same thing. 
So that's cool. Okay, let's see. I got you something. Becoming a great samurai is the best gift I can give. Just hope that's enough. So, this inheritable sword, so she's a red armor. She's a red sword armor. This weapon is actually really solid. It's got full no follow-up. If unit speed is good than foe speed, full no follow-up. It deals plus 5 damage. This period. Which is kind of cool, actually. So it's attack speed, plus 5, and straight up plus 5 damage. True damage. That is crazy. Special Fighter 3 and Armored Stride on a demote is kind of crazy too. This is actually a really good demote for pre-foddering. Kind of. Armored Stride 3 has never been on a, a unit that's not an Edelguard, Guard. And Special Fighter 3, you could pre-fodder for Special Fighter 4 and something else. Which is pretty fucking good, honestly. This unit is confusing to me because it looks like they have two preferred things, but I don't think they're actually preferred. So this is a very weird kit, and I don't know how to make sense of it. So, I want to say the B slot and the special are actually inheritable. But I actually have no fucking clue. So let's let's tackle from the top down. Let's go for the Dos Dusk Dawn Staff. Try saying that ten times fast. Folk cannot counterattack. Um, I forget which one is, that is, if it's Razzle or Dazzle, but it's one of those two. Uh, it's a, a slang. Uh, max cooldown count value cannot be reduced below one. If unit initiates combat is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus six. Offensive half no follow up. And quick and special. And after combat, Niffle effect. Or um, Wall Heart. Basically, enemy cannot counterattack. Like, within two spaces. Like, uh, flash smoke, basically. Holy pressure. Holy shit, this is crazy. So, if an assist skill is used, unit special cooldown count does not go down. When special triggers, boost damage by 45% of foe's res. So, the tankier the foe, the more damage you deal. Which is hilarious against all these far savers. If this is inheritable and it's locked to staffs, this is this this does not matter at all. But if it's inheritable to tomes and staffs, this might be pretty damn good. This might be what we're waiting for. Calculates damage from staff after combat. Damage is added. If the special if the special is triggered during combat, inflicts gravity as well, which is fucking crazy. So they're inflict it's inflicting gravity and boosts damage by forty five percent of foes res. That is fucking nuts. Attack speed catch. Good, of course. Poetic justice. And this is like a razzle dazzle times. This is razzle dazzle 2.0, basically. So it calculates damage from staff like other weapons. Afflicts speed minus 4 on foe during combat. And unit, de unit deals damage equals 15% of foe's attack. So it's true damage based on foe's attack. And the special is 45% of damage based on foe's res. This is a fucking cra- This is built to try to take down far saves. I'm telling you that right now. This unit might be able to do it. But if this is both, like, the, the Poetic Justice, that's locked stats. 100%. But maybe the special is not. And if the special is not, this is a really good special. But if it's locked to stats, this special doesn't matter. So we're going to see how this ends up going. Oh, and, um, the duo skills just dominance. We already know what Dominance does. That's already been in the game. So yeah, that is this banner. Um, Let me know if... This is, I think this is going to be a really interesting banner. If the duo unit stuff is inheritable or not, will completely change. I feel like the B skill is, but it's locked to stats, of course. And I feel like the special is a preferred. Maybe. We'll see. I could be wrong, and I'm always open to being proven wrong. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is Beauty Don signing off. Bye! See you, everybody.